Good morning. I take protecting the welfare and safety of pets and all animals extremely seriously. I, I pledge to make animal protection a priority when I ran to be the city attorney seven years ago, and we've done just that. Uh, we've been prosecuting people for excessive storage of animals. We've been prosecuting animal abuse. We conducted a public awareness campaign regarding Internet puppy scams. We conducted another public awareness campaign regarding how important it is to prevent pets from being kept in hot cars. And we prosecuted such a case. Uh, this important work continues, and today I have an announcement. I'm announcing that we have filed five charges of animal neglect and one charge of maintaining a dog kennel without a permit uh, against defendant Oscar Alonzo Melgar. Um, his alleged mistreatment of five boxer dogs purportedly alleged them to be severely malnourished, infested with ticks while living in unsanitary conditions, and they allegedly were living without sufficient water. He faces up to three years in county jail and a fine of $6,000. Animals must be cherished. When they're mistreated, as we allege in this case, we are going to vigorously prosecute. I want to commend our partners at the Department of Animal Services, whose decisive work likely saved these dogs' lives. And we're going to hear from our friends at Animal Services in just a minute. Let me recite a little bit more about what we allege are the facts in this case. Responding to a complaint, animal control officers from the city's Department of Animal Services discovered five boxer dogs in an unkempt, enclosed dirt yard. From the sidewalk, the officers observed that the dogs were covered with ticks on their noses and the mouths, ears, and on their cheeks. The officers further noted that the dogs appeared to be severely malnourished. They could see their bones through their skin. The uh, officers were obviously extremely concerned about the welfare of these dogs, so they contacted the owner who surrendered, who surrendered the ownership of the dogs at the scene. There were five dogs, as I mentioned. Puppy, and puppies in the photograph here, Bruno, Brando, Bianca, and Spot. They range in age from eight uh, months to five years. In addition to being in very poor physical condition, um, we allege they exhibited uh, very problematic not, and non-socialized behavior. Uh, when approached, they tried to hide. They ran away. They growled. Um, they were generally unfriendly at the scene. All five dogs were transported for immediate medical attention, and they received it. They were treated for flea and tick infestation. And you should know that such infestation can lead to serious infection, illness, and even death for our dogs. One of the dogs, uh, Bianca, uh, uh, was found to be pregnant. Uh, and she gave birth to three healthy puppies. And I'm actually pleased to announce uh, that they were all adopted. In fact, all five of the, do the dogs rescued by our animal services team have been adopted and now have good homes. Further investigation by our animal services, uh, animal control officers from animal services, uh, revealed that the defendant in this case may have been in possession of up to a half dozen dogs on the property at any one time over the past four years, during which time he allegedly bred puppies for profit. And in fact, neighbors had reported unsanitary conditions at this property and uh, had even uh, provided water to the dogs at the property because they were so concerned. I want to introduce Animal Control Officer Lieutenant Kalen uh, Sparriosu. Uh, Lieutenant Sparriosu um, is a key member of our animal services team, and he will speak on behalf of the department this morning. Lieutenant? Thank you, sir, for that introduction. Uh, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Sparriosu. I'm a field supervisor for the Department of Animal Services and also a member of the Animal Protection Unit, uh, which is a group of animal control officers that investigated this case, among other animal neglect and animal cruelty cases. Uh, I'd, like to thank, I'd like to thank the uh, City Attorney's Office for their diligence and dedication in prosecuting the individuals committing these crimes. 
And um, this case uh, was an example of animal neglect that we are trying to prevent from happening to other animals. Uh, the suspect in this case had every opportunity to seek the necessary care uh, for his animals, but he failed to. Tick infestations such as this can be easily prevented if treated properly. The condition of these dogs improved dramatically once they were in the care of our department, and we are proud to say they've all been adopted. Our department is actively pursuing and investigating any and all animal humane complaints submitted by the public. I highly encourage anyone who feels they have witnessed animal neglect or cruelty to report it to their local shelter using the phone number 888-452-7381 or calling or dialing 311. <clears throat> also please visit our website at laanimalservices.com for further information. Thank you. Lieutenant, thank you very much. Uh, and again, I want to thank you and your colleagues at our very important Animal Services Department. Thank you for your hard and important work. And as I mentioned earlier, the work of the department likely saved the lives of these dogs who now have happy homes. I also want to thank the members of the City Attorney's Office team who so diligently and assertively work to protect consumers to protect all of us in this city, and to protect pets and all animals. I want to specifically thank Will Rivera, Michelle McGinnis, Eric Rosenblatt, and Dennis Kong, as well as our partners at the LA Animal Services Department. And as always, I want to thank our team from LA City View Channel 35 for helping make this uh, press conference today possible. I'd like to say a few words in Spanish. And then I'm happy to take any questions, which will be directed to uh, Rob Wilcox, who will then convey the questions to me. Ahora en español. Durante mis siete años de ser procurador de la ciudad de Los Ángeles, mi oficina ha trabajado en la primera línea para proteger a los animales de nuestra comunidad. Continuando con este tra trabajo, Hoy anunció que hemos presentado cinco casos de negligencia de animal y un cargo por mantener una perrera sin permiso contra Oscar Alonso Melgar, cuyo supuesto maltrato de cinco perros los llevó a estar gravemente desnutridos y infestados de garrapatas mientras vivían en condiciones insalubres sin agua. La protección del bienestar y la seguridad de las mas mascotas y de todos los animales con ca son, casos, son cosas que tomo muy en serio. Los animales deben ser apreciados. Cuando son uh, maltratados como alegamos en este caso, enuiciamos vigorosamente. Rob? Other questions? Yes. From John Baird at KNX 1070 News Radio. Uh, so the kennel owner was charging people to keep their dogs and uh, she was not uh, taking care of them properly. Is that correct? So the kennel, the, the, the defendant in this case um, is actually a male, Oscar Alonso Melgar. And the allegation is that these five uh, animals had been neglected and the allegation includes a charge of maintaining a dog kennel without a permit. Um, I don't know other facts regarding whether he would have taken funds from someone to have their animals at his property. All right, from uh, Terry Keith at City News Service, uh, are all of the cha tra charges misdemeanors? Yes, all the charges are misdemeanors. Our office is empowered to bring misdemeanor charges. The district attorney is empowered to bring felony charges. How is the defendant's name spelled? The last name of the defendant is M-E-L-G-A-R. His first name is Oscar. What area of the city did this allegedly occur? The central part of the city of Los Angeles is where these events allegedly occurred. All right, that concludes our questioning. All right, I want to thank you for focusing on this issue. I want to say to members of the press who are covering this, 
it's extremely important, especially in the midst of all the circumstances we're confronting as a society right now, to bear in mind that while all of us humans are under tremendous stress and tremendous pressure and are grappling with a pandemic the likes we've never seen in generations, it's also the case that animals could be suffering during this period. And getting the word out that our animal control officers will be on the scene in the event of allegations of animal neglect or abuse is extremely important, as is the fact that our office is committed to vigorously prosecuting cases referred to us by our animal control team. Thank you very much.